I'm Seth Rudetsky, here to argue with Mark Kudish. Mm -hmm. Mark, um, as you know, I'm obsessed with high notes, and I feel that Broadway is the place for high notes and nothing but high notes. Mark Kudish uh, is at odds with me, and he thinks that I'm interested in hearing something below middle C. Mark, what are you trying to say? Go. Already I'm annoyed. See, the problem is the baritone is the most malign voice of any vocal category that we know. And that's how we see things today. How is it maligned? How is it maligned? Because it's always the buffo, it's always the comic, it's the foil. It's always the guy that doesn't get the girl. Or he drowns Javert. Okay, or he, well, and what's interesting is actually, I don't even think like Javert is actually an exception to the rule in many cases to me, because I don't think that Javert is a bad guy at all. He's actually one of the most, if not the most complex character in that he's show. He's complex, but he's an idiot. No, he's not. How's he an idiot? Because he's saying that stealing a loaf of bread means that you have to go to jail for a thousand years. He doesn't see any oh, okay. Gray. So he's an idiot the way that most Republicans today are an idiot with their agenda? Yes! Okay, no. It takes intelligence to be able to be that linear and be successful at it. No, it takes intelligence it's to the see difference gray. between No, it's the difference between uh, Old Testament and New Testament. When you're an Old Testament man living in a New Testament society, and you live according to a set of rules that you believe work and have worked for you. You're one of those people that doesn't bend much. A small bend can break you. That's Javert. That's why Stars is such a great aria, because this is a man that's actually dealing with insecurity, not strength. In each of the vocal categories, there are subcategories to the vocal category. The German have termed the word... German. No. Fach. Fach. So each vocal category has a set of Fach to them. And in the baritone category, there are seven different fach. Stop saying that word. Just change it to something else because it's grossing me out. Mmm, fach. No. No, but the point is, is there's like lyric baritone, which is what a lot of people call the berry tenor. Okay. And then it rolls down from there. So I'm lazy for saying berry tenor instead of no, lyric? Just, it takes no, 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 no. You're not lazy, but singers that call themselves berry tenors, in my opinion, are either lyric baritone or they're tenors that just don't want to work that hard. This video is about minutia. The point is, tell us about the name of your next show. Go. Okay. The Lower Depths in defense of the baritone voice. We were discussing Showboat, which had, now yeah. to me, not a baritone, really a bass. Well, ultimately it's a bass or a bass baritone now. See, the True thing that. is, you know, look, the baritone, I'm turning off my phone. Oh, he's, he's getting serious. Yeah, no, honestly, think about it. When you think of, vote, when you think of uh, choral singing, give me the vocal categories. Soprano, alto, tenor, bass, John Brimhall. Bingo, where's the baritone? No one's interested in the baritone. Everyone's interested in the baritone. Everyone's interested in the baritone, and especially 20th century music proves that like nobody's business. Why? John Raitt was a tenor. No, he wasn't. He was a lyric baritone. Uh, <laughs> Does it matter what the notes are? Baritones and tenors should essentially have the same vocal range. Now, what they're going to ultimately use, at least publicly, is different. The tessitura, where the voice lies in a healthy manner, is slightly different. But the vocal range, where a barit baritones should be able to hit B-flat. Okay? Yeah. When but you're warming up, crazy. I go up to B-flat. You know, it's going to sound like a baritone singing to B-flat. Do you have B big flat. What's that? What's happening That's there? That's just the voice, baby. That's the resonant sound of a baritone just letting it out. So Gross. Go back to Showboat, please. Showboat, he's essentially a bass baritone because of the vocal range. That doesn't mean a bass can't sing it. But, you know, I mean, you know, in the key of C and, you know, there are alternate keys. Different guys have sung that in, you know, different places. And So this is... Okay, 1927, when Showboat came out on stage, this is what we all know. Old Man River, that old man river, he must know something, but he don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling. He keeps on rolling along. Now, that song became iconic. It became American folk music after this show opened. But not because of that version, which I did not know. Interestingly enough, the person that first truly introduced this song to the American public as a whole, the first recording in 1928. I thought it was Paul Robeson. Was not Paul Robeson, although Paul Robeson did record it six months later. In 1928, the first person to hit the airwaves with this song, it made the song famous as well as him an overnight star, was Bing Crosby. Mm. Bing Crosby. Now, it was a jazz rendition of the song, and it went like this. Oh, God. Old Man River, 
of that old man river He must know something, but it don't say nothing He just keep rolling, he keeps rolling along Yeah, he don't plant taters, he don't plant cotton Damn that plants him is soon forgotten But old man river, he keeps rolling along and me, we sweat and strain, a body all aching and racked with pain. You tote that barge, you lift that bale, you get a little drunk and you land in jail. Well, I gets weary and sick of trying, tired of living, scared of dying, but old man river, he keeps rolling along. And that's how America heard that song. And that made the baritone famous? That started it. Anywho, I have a show that I want to do in defense of certain baritones, and I actually brought this music, Michael Levine, my music source, sent me the music, and I <laughs> showed it to Mark recently. I'd like him to do this in a show. Now, this is the original key. I'd like you to sing it once, Mark. We'll see what it sounds like. Hurry back, as you know. It's a great baritone song, this. It, it is. is. Hurry back, hurry back. It's no life at all. Now, I just want you to focus on that for a second. Life at all. Do you see that note? The next show I want to do, which is in defense of Lady Baritones. Who was the original singer, Mark? The original was Lauren Bacall. She was one of the great baritones of the 70s. And she, she is maligned. That was literally the original key. <laughs> Old Man River, Life at Seriously. All. Seriously. It's pretty amazing. I think it's impressive. And on that note, <laughs> I gotta go. Take earplugs out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>